this is the final video in the playlist where we've been looking at factorising and solving equations where we've got a coefficient of x squared. So this is what makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, the, there is a technique for doing this. You could potentially do it by trial and error, but it might be a little bit tricky. If you have a look at some of the other videos within the playlist, that will give you also some additional examples. So this particular one is about solving it, but nevertheless, in order to do that, we need to factorise it first. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to multiply the 5 by the minus 12, and that's going to give me minus 60. And then what I'm looking for is two factors of minus 60 that when I multiply them together make minus 60 and when I add them together make plus 11. Okay, well you'll see what I mean if I write those in. I'm going to use plus 15 and minus 4. Because when I multiply 15 and minus 4 together, I get minus 60. And when I add 15 and minus 4 together, I get plus 11. Okay, I hope that's all right for you. This particular one does take a little bit of thinking through. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to rewrite the equation, but rather than writing plus 11x in the middle, I'm going to use these two factors. So I'm going to write that as 5x squared plus 15x minus 4x minus 12 equals 0. So I haven't really changed anything. All I've done is I've said rather than writing 11x, plus 15x minus 4x is still going to give me 11x and nothing's really different except it does allow me now to factorize the first two terms so rather than writing that I'm going to write 5x and then x plus 3 in brackets so um, if we have a look at that just to check 5x times x is 5x squared and then 5x times plus 3 is plus 15x. So those first two terms I've now factorised. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the second two terms as well. I'm going to factorise those for minus 4. And again, I get x plus 3. Be very, very careful about these negatives. Okay, so let's just check that. I've got minus 4 times x is minus 4x. That's fine. And then minus 4 times plus 3 is minus 12. So just be very careful about your signs with these particular types of uh, problems. Now that equals 0. And what I've got is two bracketed terms which are the same. So therefore I can take those out and I can write that as 5x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 3 and that equals 0. Okay, so what we've actually got here is uh, the ability now to solve this equation. So don't forget that really this is nothing more than a quadratic equation. So if I look at this, what I'm doing is I've got something like this going on, okay? Where actually I know that this is 4 fifths and I know that this is minus 3 because if I just cover that for a minute, I've got x plus 3 equals 0. Well, if x plus 3 equals 0, then x must equal minus 3. Okay, so that's my first point here. My second point is this one. Now, I'm just going to write this out over here for you. So I've got 5x minus 4 equals 0. If I bring that 4 over, I've got 5x equals 4. If I divide through by 5, I've got x equals 4 out of 5. So therefore, my second point is going to be 4 out of 5. And that is solving that particular equation. So you're just kind of taking the initial factorising just a little bit further on. OK, I hope that's been useful for you. If you're not sure, please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. Have a look at some of the other videos within the playlist. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.